Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's vlog. I apologize if there's two intros. I don't know if Ken's already started the vlog. If not, then hi. <laughs> He's currently at Market Basket. Go figure. I think it's been like a few days, right? <laughs> um, yeah, he's doing like our normal shopping, like the bigger one. Um, I was going to go with him, but I guess it's, he feels it's just easier if one of us goes, which I was, I offered to go too, but whatever. He's fast. He'll be back soon. Um, Scarlett's currently listening to some music in her room. Um, she seems to be feeling better. She still has like that nasally, the congestion in her voice and everything, but she doesn't have a fever and she seems to be in better spirits today. So thank God, I guess it was just like a quick morning fever yesterday. I don't know. It was weird. Um, Amaya seems to be okay. She's currently napping because, you know, newborn life. Don't you wish that's what we could do all day? <laughs> um, she seems like a little congested, like in her nose, like, I don't know, like, you can see like she has like a little struggle of breathing, but nothing too worrisome. If it starts picking back up, I'm going to bring her in the bathroom and have the shower on like really high to help with like the steam and everything. Um, that's what we did with Scarlett when she was that age and it really, really helped. So yeah, um, Bailey's out there. She keeps running over to the door like, hello, are you going to come play with me? <laughs> I'm gonna try, but it's so cold out and I just can't handle it anymore. It's so weird, like, since I've given birth, I just get super, super cold, which I know is normal, but I was just saying to Ken yesterday, like, when do the hot flashes come? I remember with Scarlet, I would get, like, super hot after a while, like, I would just go back and forth and, like, it's not happening. <laughs> I'm just always cold, constantly. I don't know if it's just, like, the time of year or what, because with Scarlet, I had her in March, so I guess, like, as spring came, I would get warmer. I guess that makes sense, right? I don't know. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. And um, I have no idea what else is going on today, so let's see. So as you can see, we made it outside. And Dad uh, is home. Dad's home? I don't... Oh, he is home. There he is. <laughs> um, yeah, both of these two don't want to listen today. <laughs> but what else is new? I keep telling Scarlett to not use the ball launcher because it doesn't work for her. Yeah. Be careful. Whoa. Oh god. I'm just afraid that Bailey's gonna pull it and knock her down. And I keep warning her that's gonna happen. See? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Can we stop using the ball launcher that way? Just pick up the ball and throw it? <laughs> I. Alright. So, did we learn our lesson? No. No? Yeah, I figure. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, now you got a big scratch on your face. I need to put some ice. Yeah, then we'll put some aquifer. That usually helps heal scratches really fast. Well, I'm going to help put all this stuff away with Dad. And then, um, yeah. I'm sorry you got a big scratch. You can tell Bailey feels bad. Usually when we come back inside and she's still out here, she'll be doing her own thing. But she's literally been in the same spot that I left her in when we came back in to get some ice for Scarlet. She feels bad. She hasn't even taken the ball out of the launcher or anything. Oh. Anyway, Ken wants to talk about pork chops. Oh, I'm not really. I'm oh. I'm just saying. Because I, I was like, I'm going to go show this dog in the vlog. You're like, can we talk about these pork chops? So They're wicked cheap. Six dollars for all these. Huh. Hey, the green melon. Yes, the That's green melon. melon. I'm just moving out of the way. Yeah, um, this child is very anti-fruit lately, and if those that know her know she'll literally eat, well, she would literally eat any type of fruit, and now we're very selective for some reason. So I don't understand sticks why. to my hand. Yes, the ice sticks to your hand. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it does oh, yep, it does. Alright, we're gonna try round two out here. This looks safe, but not really. Standing on a slide. What's Marshall doing climbing the tree? No. No. What do you What do you mean no? What is he doing? Whoa! He almost fell. Be careful, Marshall. <laughs> so what is he doing? Oh, he's just trying to not fall. Okay. I mean, Marshall falls a lot, so I guess that makes sense. So we're at that stage in newborn life where Amaya does not want to be put down. She wants to sleep, but she doesn't want to do it on her own. She just wants someone to carry her or wear her. Because literally the moment I put her in here, she just passed right out. So, yeah. Um, 
before that, she was just crying and crying and crying. I was just like, I don't want to lay in my little pack and play or in my balancer. I want nothing to do with any of that. So that's fine. Um, I feel like, but I've said it before, it's like really easy to put her in this now. With Scarlet, I would struggle and like I couldn't figure it out. But now I'm just like, just give me like two minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Here she is. Um, but yeah, Scarlet is playing with a lot of strange things right now. <laughs> I don't understand. You're using the gate and your Paw Patrol pups and your kitchen. And you took out your stool, too. Oh, I see. You're putting them up there. Okay. All right. Why are they lined up up on the kitchen? Because his boo boo is not playing anymore. Oh. And someone came up. Everest didn't want to come up here. Okay. Because <laughs> it was too high. Oh, alright. So you're just so, doing a, so a big mission with Paw Patrol. Got you. I totally understand. So, on an exciting but Kind of scary note. This is the last bottle of pumped milk I have in the fridge. Um, it's from November 6th. Today's the 10th. It's been four days, so I have to freeze it or it's going to go bad. Um, yeah, it's just, I haven't pumped in since the 6th. So it's just really, really crazy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I have like such weird feelings about it. Like I'm like kind of panicking. But like I've been saying all week, if she needs a bottle, like if she starts refusing my breast again, I can just take the bags out, throw them out, but I just, I don't know, it's like, I'm gonna put this away and that's it, like, it's, it's such a good feeling, but, like, it's scary, you know, like, I don't know, I'm, like, really proud of her for going back to breastfeeding and not giving up, or both of us giving up, I don't know, she, um, it's interesting, she latches so, like, effortlessly now, before it was, like, I had to really guide her and just, like, I don't know, different things to get her to take it and now it's just like I kind of like put it there and she drinks so I don't know I'm just I'm happy I'm nervous but it's, it's a good nervous you know but anyway I'm gonna bag this up and put it in the freezer a few moments later all right I got my bag labeled 11.6 3.25 ounces at 5 15 a.m. Uh, yeah pumping in the middle of the night is the worst especially like when this one's crying and I'm by myself that's usually what would happen. And then, like, just... That's, like, extra 15 minutes of not sleeping. And plus, if I decide to wash everything. No, your sister. I cry a lot. You, yeah. Not as much as the baby, though. So. There is the last bit of milk I have pumped. I'm sure I'll pump again in the future. Because, like, I don't know. I'm just trying not to. I didn't really want to until this time at four weeks. Why are you saying no? She can't get to you. The gate is right there. <laughs> anyway, that's it. So, oh, like I was saying, yeah, I wanted to pump it like four weeks so people could bottle feed her if like needed, if I needed to go out or something. But I have a big stash in the freezer, so I'm good on that, and I don't need to. So that is it. Big yes, stash. a big stash, Scarlet. A big stash of milk. All right, guys. I think that is going to be a wrap on today's vlog. I'm going to be making some dinner yeah, soon. Let's talk about things. What do you want to talk about? Let's oh, talk gosh. about my day. Let's talk about how Amaya is pooping over there, and we got to change her. You no. You want to change her? No, I can't change her. Why not? Because I, I might get poop on my hands. That's a good reason why you can't change her. <laughs> she might get poop on her hands. That's okay. I'll do it. What do you, so what do you want to talk about the day? Uh, I want to talk about talking about the tree first. About the tree? What happens with the tree? Um, I put Marshall and Dory on it. Alright, yep. That's and all you do, Marshall. And then you went back out a little while ago and played with Rory on the tree. What else? You picking the stickers off that you put on my arm? Ow. What? It hurt. <laughs> on my cheeks. Yeah. Not the scratch. Does it hurt? Nope. Good. 
All right, so should we say bye now? Nope. We're going to still talk about the day. All right, well, you talk. Come on. What do you got to say? I I, I'm done talking. Put my stickers on the floor. Well, that's not a good place for them. Huh? Not a good place. Boop big. Boop big. Stop big, Sabu. All right. We're going to say bye. We can talk some more tomorrow, okay? Hey, one thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for we have to talk about some more day. We'll talk more tomorrow. That's not nice. Gentle. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.